Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you what is possibly my favourite pair of shoes and that is the Herringberg boot. This is from the Herring Classic range and it's essentially a rebadged version of the Loke Burford boot. There are some very small differences um, that I'll go into but it's more or less the same shoe. So as you can see, it's a Brogue Derby boot. Get a closer look. You have the option of buying it with either a double leather sole or day and night sole. I prefer the rubber day and night sole for harder, you know, bulkier shoes that I'm going to be wearing outside a lot just because I find these to be incredibly hard wearing. Um, these particular shoes I've owned for almost two years and even the heel has got a lot of life left in it. So I do prefer the feeling of leather on carpet indoors but for outdoor wear I definitely recommend the, uh, the day and night. So the Burford and also the Berg are made on the 24 last. The 24 last um, is also the same last that's used in the Loke Chester, which is a very similar looking uh, Derby Brogue that Loke produce. I think it's one of the most distinctive last shapes that Loke use. The Chester is something of a, an icon for Loke and I think the Burford is as well. They do another um, boot, tan boot, called the Bedale, which comes in a G-fitting. It also has a a shorter, more rounded uh, toe. It's more of a traditional country boot, whereas I would say this is probably more of a town boot, you would say, even though it's um, in the um, country styling, you know, tan, full brogue, wingtip. Um, the, the leather is softened very nicely. They didn't take as long to break in as I thought they might. Um, there's another video on YouTube, it's a few years old, but it's um, uh, by the chap who owns Mod Shoes, and he commented that these take, or the, or the Burford certainly takes a very long time to break in, um, but I didn't find that um, to be the case particularly. Um, I do know that the uh, Herring do use uh, different leather on the uppers from the from the Burford. I've never actually seen the Burford in person, so I don't know what the differences are. But in terms of the um, comments that I've I've heard from other people, the the uh, leather that Herring use seems to have more of this sort of rippling effect. People have commented that it's almost like shell cordovan um, in the way that it creases. Um, I don't own any shell cordovan shoes, so I don't know how true that is. Um, but it's certainly softened up very nicely. One other small difference is that the um, lining of the Berg is, leather lining is black, whereas I understand it's sort of a cream color on the, um, on the Burford. Not sure that really makes much of a difference. Um, just from the pictures I've seen as well, some of the, the burnishing, particularly on the holes, the broguing holes, looks a bit darker, but again, I, I can't say um, that's the case um, for certain. But I, I think the, the 24 last, even though it is an F fitting, it's pretty generous in terms of fit, and there is a bit of... Um, elongation in the toe, whereas the um, 
the Bedeo, which is a G-fitting, I think, has is a bit shorter. Um, it does have the storm welt. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's, you know, a boot that you want to take into, um, you know, the stomping around your country estate in. Um, although I guess you you could wear them in some pretty rough terrain if you um, conditioned them and waterproof them. Um, but, you know, I prefer to um, sort of stick to, uh, you know, paved roads and the like. Look, I haven't polished these for a while. I maybe should have done that before I did the video, but I always think it's better to show you what the boot looks like day to day. I just absolutely love this style. Um, I just think it's incredibly versatile. You can wear it with so many different outfits. You know, it's definitely on the less formal side, but you can get away with wearing these with, you know, jeans and t-shirt, or you can get away with, I wouldn't say you can really wear them with a, um, a business suit, but you can, you can certainly wear, you know, smarten them up with, um, you know, they go well with, say, chinos or corduroys and a um, tweed jacket. You know, if, if you want to um, smarten them up a bit. Um, but, you know, there's barely anything in my wardrobe that they don't go with. Um, they're very comfortable. Just a great pair of shoes, really. A great pair of boots, I should say. Um, and one of the reasons why I um, got into um, higher-end shoes, because I saw a pair of these and I thought, and I really needed to have them. Um, well, that's all for now. See you next time.